Now, more on the Uptown story itself, coming to you from the heart of 18 acres of prime heartland in Saanich, right on the Victoria border. The site here intersects bus uh, routes and uh, bike trails that travel into downtown to Uvic and to the West Shore, uh, promising the potential for this to become the busiest or one of the busiest shopping centers in the region. And reflecting the neighborhood and the community is also part of Uptown's goal. A News reporter Erin Glazier looks at that, and she joins us now live with more. Erin. Hudson, who wouldn't want to stroll Uptown Boulevard on a day like today? Absolutely gorgeous out, and that is why it is quickly becoming a place where people want to gather. Oh. Glistening in the sun on the first day of summer sits the first piece of artwork at Uptown Centre. I drove by here and with my granddaughter down there and uh, told her I was doing a carving here, and she was really, really excited. And that kind of got me excited about it, you know? And it's very special, it's very, and it turned out really, really, looks really good. It's the first bronze water feature La Fortune has created. The heron is flanked by frogs and represents the deep-rooted First Nation culture in the Saanich area. This is a place where people can come and spend the, uh, lots of time between the uh, ambiance of the walkability of the site. There's just a lot here. Tenants range from specialty shops such as Kula Yogurt Bar to well-known big-name stores such as Future Shop and Jacob. In its first phase alone, uptown retailers are expected to inject $220 million into the local economy. And while over 90% of retail space has been leased, just 55% of office space is currently occupied, a direct result of the tail end of the global recession, says builder Morgard Investments. But Saanich Mayor Frank Leonard feels this development will go a long way in the revitalization of this area. For many months, this has been the largest construction project on Vancouver Island. Having this as a hub where people can live, work, and, uh, and recreate, uh, visit public places like this, it's incredibly important. But with the popular stores come big crowds, at times making parking an issue. With just one way in and out until parts of Phase 2 are finished, it's a balancing act, say the developers. We can't do it overnight, and it is coming. Every day it gets better. With Phase 2 opening next summer, the ability to transition back and forth across the entire site um, and reach each of the exit points uh, will uh, greatly alleviate the congestion problems we've had. Under Future Shop, the red zone is a really easy place to park and then you go up the escalators and you're right there on the, on the boulevard and can get to everywhere you want to. So it really is, you just um, you need to come on site and, and uh, experience uptown. Coming soon, a new rooftop restaurant, Starbucks and popular Victoria-based noodle box making Uptown a destination shopping experience. Hudson, as I mentioned earlier, it's not just about the shopping. Uptown Plaza, starting June 25th, will host a number of activities, starting with Bikram Yoga, which I might get in on. Also, Vancouver Science Fair will be here to do uh, a demonstration further on in the summer. They've got a gourmet food fair, and it culminates with a WHL players versus local celebrities hockey game right here in the plaza on September 17th. So all kinds of activities for people and their families to enjoy all summer long here at You Uptown. betcha. And lots of parking, too. I mean, that's uh, the, the, one of the complaints when it first opened, getting ready to have the Walmart where we are right now, mm -hmm. uh, open in time for Christmas shopping. Uh, but there's all kinds of parking. Just keep going straight and uh, lots of spaces available. Yeah, and as Roberta mentioned, you just have to come in and know where the parking is, really. There's lots of underground parking. All right, Erin, thank you. You're welcome. See you at 6.